Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to configure secure Apache web server in CentOS and RHEL. Web server use HTTP by default, which is a clear text protocol. It is not secure. So now I am going to show you how to configure HTTPS. It is a encrypted text protocol. HTTPS signals the browser to use an additional encryption layer of SSL slash TLS to protect the traffic. SSL slash TLS is especially suited for HTTP since it can provide some protection even if one side of the communication is authenticated. This is the case with HTTP transaction over the internet where typically over the server is authenticated by the client examining the server certificate. HTTPS creates a secure channel over a insecure network. For doing secure web server, first we need to install the HTTP D package. For that, yum install httpd. Now the installation process of the httpd has been completed. Now I am going to install mod ssl. This package is used for https web server. For that, yum install mod underscore ssl. Now I am going to install the open ssl package. This package is used for generating a self-signed certificate. For that, yum install open ssl. Open SSL. In my system already the mod SSL package is up to date. So there is nothing to do. Now I am going to generate a self-signed certificate. The following commands can be used to generate a self-signed certificate. First I am going to generate a private key. For generating a private key with 2048 bit encryption. For that command is open SSL space gen rsa space hyphen out space the name of the key file ea.key space on the type of the encryption i am going to give 2048 bit encryption and then press enter now the key has been created successfully now i am going to generate the certificate signing request for that Command is open SSL space req space hyphen new space hyphen key space the name of the key file that was generated previously. It is ca.key space hyphen out space the name of the certificate signing request file ca dot csr and then press enter here you need to give the country code if you like to provide the name means you can provide otherwise you can skip it now the certificate has been created now i am going to generate a self signed certificate of x509 type which remains valid of 365 days for that command is open ssl space x509 space hyphen req space hyphen days space the number of the days is 365 space hyphen in space the name of the csr file is ca.csr space hyphen sign key space the name of the key file is ca.key space hyphen out space the name of the certificate file is ca.crt and then press enter now the signature is ok and it has generated the private key after the certificates are created now we have to copy the files to the necessary directories now i am going to copy the self signed certificate to the directory crits for that cp ca.crt2 etc pki 
slash tls slash crits it has been moved now i'm going to copy the key file to the private directory for that cp space ca dot key space slash etc slash pki slash ls slash private it has been copied to the private directory now i'm going to copy the csr file to the private directory for that cp space ca dot csr the name of the file on the directory tls slash private now the certificate is ready it is time to turn to apache web server for that you need to open the secure web server configuration file web slash etc slash httpd slash conf dot d slash ssl dot conf inside that file you need to override the following parameters here ssl certificate file name you need to mention here as ca the name of the certificate file ca and you have to change the file name for the private key it is ca dot key after that you save the file now check the parameters by command httpd space hyphen t now the syntax is ok now you have to configure the apache web server for that vim etc httpd conf httpd dot conf inside that file you need to move to the bottom of the file and there you need to give the entry as virtual host and then give star colon port number for secure web server is double four three and ssl engine space on and ssl certificate file and here you need to mention the path of the certificate file and here you need to mention the and here you need to mention ssl certificate key file space you need to mention the path of the key file and here you need to mention the server name server name space the name of the server after that you need to mention the document root slash var slash www slash html after that you close the virtual host tag and then you just save the file now you check for the syntax httpd space hyphen t now the syntax is ok now you need to add the service in the firewall for that firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to https the service has been added to the firewall permanently now i am going to add the port number for secure web server 443 to the firewall permanently for that firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to double four three slash tcp now the port has been added successfully now i need to reload the firewall for that firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload the firewall has been reloaded successfully now i need to restart the httpd service for that system ctl restart httpd dot service and i need to enable the service the service has been enabled now we can go to web browser and check the server for that application browser now type the server name here https www.linuxhelp1.com here you can able to see this connection is untested because it is a secure web server for that you have to click on i understand the risk and, and at the bottom you need to click add exception add security exception will be get appeared inside that you need to click on confirm security exception and you can able to see the web page has been get opened thank you for watching